Deep within the grand scale of the observable universe, approximately two million light years from our own Milky Way galaxy, exists a colossal and awe-inspiring celestial body known as the Andromeda Galaxy. It stands as the closest spiral galaxy to us and is frequently hailed as one of the most breathtaking structures in the cosmos. On particularly clear moonless nights, it is possible to observe Andromeda with the unaided eye, a faint glowing blur that is in reality a massive collection of hundreds of billions of stars, planets, gas clouds and dark matter. Its proximity has not only granted us this rare observational privilege, but has also sparked a great deal of scientific interest over the centuries. The light we see from Andromeda today actually left the galaxy over two million years ago, offering a glimpse into the deep past of a system so vast it's nearly incomprehensible. While many have admired Andromeda for its luminous spiral arms and stately rotation, recent astronomical findings have painted a much more ominous picture. This neighboring galaxy, once thought to be a serene spectacle of cosmic beauty, may actually represent a dire threat to our very existence. Beneath its magnificent facade lies a violent history and a potentially destructive future. We may, in fact, be on a slow-motion collision course with Andromeda, one that could lead to an epic galactic catastrophe. What's truly alarming is, not just the fact that our galaxy might eventually be consumed, but that this process may already be underway. Why is this happening? What does it mean for humanity? To uncover the full story behind this astronomical phenomenon, stay with us until the end of this exploration. Also, please consider liking and subscribing to support our channel. Your engagement helps us continue bringing you fascinating insights about the universe. Galaxies, including our own Milky Way, are ancient and dynamic structures formed billions of years ago from clouds of gas and dust, the fundamental byproducts of the Big Bang. Over unimaginable spans of time, these primordial materials began to cool and coalesce under the force of gravity, eventually giving rise to stars, stellar systems and vast spiral formations. Through processes such as nuclear fusion and supernova explosions, the elements necessary for planets and life itself were forged. These galaxies, though seemingly permanent and unchanging to us, are in fact constantly evolving. But while many follow relatively tranquil trajectories through space, others are far more chaotic and aggressive in their development. Andromeda is believed to be one such galaxy. In recent decades, astrophysicists have gathered substantial evidence suggesting that Andromeda is a cannibal galaxy, a galactic predator of sorts, whose expansion and evolution have depended upon the consumption of smaller, weaker galaxies in its vicinity. Over its long lifetime, Andromeda has repeatedly absorbed these minor galaxies, stripping them of their stars, gas and dark matter. These remnants, far from being erased without a trace, have left behind tidal streams and luminous arcs of disrupted stars that form patterns in the outer halo of the galaxy. These trails are the remains of cosmic feasts, celestial scars that testify to Andromeda's violent past. It has left behind these cosmic crumbs, vast fields of stellar debris that continue to orbit its massive central structure, offering scientists vital clues about its history and gravitational influence. According to a groundbreaking study conducted by researchers at the University of Sydney in Australia, Andromeda's behavior suggests that our own Milky Way may one day suffer the same fate as its previously devoured neighbors. The first major clue came when a team of Australian astronomers observed a peculiar ducktail-shaped stellar structure within Andromeda. This feature did not match the rest of the galaxy's composition or rotation pattern, and after careful analysis, it appeared to have originated from an entirely separate galaxy. Scientists concluded that this was most likely the remnant of a smaller galaxy that had been absorbed by Andromeda. Its structure twisted and dispersed in the aftermath of a gravitational collision. Astrophysicists described this phenomenon as the result of a cosmic feast in which Andromeda's insatiable gravitational hunger led it to consume another galactic system, tearing it apart in the process. This is not an isolated case. Over time, it has become increasingly evident that Andromeda's growth has been anything but orderly. 
rather than expanding gently, it has grown through chaotic and violent episodes of galactic cannibalism. The gravitational effects of these collisions have scattered stars and disrupted orbiting patterns, leaving behind observable evidence of each devoured system. Many small satellite galaxies and stellar clumps currently orbiting the outskirts of Andromeda are likely the remnants of such mergers. These findings suggest a broader truth about galaxy formation in our universe, that collisions, not isolation, may be the rule rather than the exception. Now the inevitable question arises, what does this mean for us? Current observations and measurements confirm that Andromeda and the Milky Way are gradually moving toward each other at an astonishing speed of approximately 400 kilometers per second, or about 1.4 million kilometers per hour. While this speed is difficult to comprehend and imperceptible in the context of a human lifetime, it carries profound cosmic consequences. According to a comprehensive analysis by NASA, this galactic convergence is expected to culminate in a direct collision and eventual merger about 4 billion years from now. When this occurs, it will not be a sudden or explosive impact as Hollywood might depict. Rather, the two galaxies will gradually merge over the course of several billion years, interacting gravitationally, warping one another's shapes, and ultimately settling into a new, larger and more stable elliptical or lenticular galaxy, what scientists sometimes call Milkameda or Lactameda. Interestingly, the collision itself may not lead to the outright destruction of all planetary systems. Despite the enormous scale of the event, the vast distances between stars mean that direct star-on-star -star collisions will be relatively rare. However, the gravitational turbulence caused by the merger will almost certainly disrupt the orbits of many star systems, potentially ejecting them into deep space or sending them hurtling into new, unstable orbits. Our own solar system could be flung into a more distant orbit or even ejected from the merged galaxy altogether. The sky as we know it would change drastically, with new stars, nebulae, and galaxies dominating the horizon. But what about life on Earth, or wherever humanity may be in four billion years? By then, it is highly likely that human civilization in its current form will no longer exist. Either we will have gone extinct due to natural or self-inflicted causes, or we will have evolved into something entirely new. However, there is hope, with the rapid pace of technological advancement, it is conceivable that humanity could survive even such an immense galactic upheaval. Perhaps we will develop the capacity to leave our galaxy entirely, to explore distant regions of space, and to establish new civilizations beyond the gravitational influence of Andromeda and the Milky Way. We must not think in terms of mere centuries, but rather in epochs and eons. To ensure our survival, we may need to become an intergalactic species. If such advancements are realized, such as the ability to resist cosmic radiation, traverse interstellar distances at relativistic speeds, or even achieve some form of technological immortality, then the future collision may not be a catastrophe, but a spectacle. From the vantage point of a secure, habitable world far beyond the reach of the colliding galaxies, future humans, or post-humans, could observe this majestic event unfold like an opera of stars. What seems like a terrifying prospect today might one day be viewed with wonder and awe. Eventually, the newly formed Lactamida galaxy will stabilize. For millions of years, it will be devoid of life, barren, silent, a theater of lingering radiation and orphaned star systems. Yet, life has proven to be resilient and persistent. One day, it might rise again. However, the future inhabitants of Lactomeda, whatever form they may take, will experience a different universe than we do. Star formation will have slowed or ceased entirely. The cosmic microwave background radiation, which currently allows scientists to study the early moments after the Big Bang, will have faded beyond detectability. They may never know about the Big Bang, the expansion of the universe, or the vast galactic structures that once surrounded them, to these future observers, the universe may appear static, unchanging, and finite. A return to the ancient belief that Earth or its galaxy is the center of all things. This idea mirrors the Aristotelian view of the cosmos, 
which dominated human thought for over a thousand years. According to Aristotle, the Earth was the center of the universe, with the sun, moon, planets and stars, all revolving in perfect circles around it. This geocentric model, while flawed, was a cornerstone of classical thought and paved the way for later revolutions in science. Aristotle, a Greek philosopher who lived from 384 to 322 BC, was a student of Plato and a teacher of Alexander the Tsar. Great! His work spanned a vast array of subjects, including ethics, politics, logic, physics, metaphysics, and biology. In his philosophy, Aristotle proposed a teleological view of nature, one in which everything has a purpose, a final goal. For example, an acorn's natural purpose is to become an oak tree, and a human's goal is to attain happiness and virtue. 